Welcome to uh, Forza 6 uh, Apex. Um, yeah, I've been really excited to play this. I've always wanted to, you know, play some uh, some Forza, but uh, unfortunately, it's uh, been like kind of an Xbox exclusive franchise for a while, and the only console I own right now is a PS4. So I was very excited to hear that it was coming to PC in beta form and. Um, doing the weird free deal thing, so, where, you know, you just kind of, you get the game for free, go to the manufacturer's colors here, and, um, yeah, you get, you get the game for free, and then you can just buy just random add-ons and shit. Um, anyway, this is, uh, figured I'd start out with something kind of fun here. Just to, you know, just to show off the game, and uh, I don't know, this is just a fun challenge. Um, you might notice that my uh, my desktop might be in the background here a bit. Um, I don't know why it just started doing that when I was recording. It kind of kicked it out of full screen mode. So, um, yeah. But anyway, yeah, it's like what they did with Killer Instinct. It's the game is free, and then you have to pay for microtransactions to unlock certain things or you can unlock them on your own. I don't know if I like that system entirely, but I'm just really glad that I get to try this out right now and so far I'm really loving Forza. I mean I really enjoyed Drive Club, but this the simulation's much better in this and um the graphics are better obviously, but that could be doing uh that could be due to the fact that this is a PC game. And I have gone off the track badly. Alright. Oh, Back we go. It's pretty fun that you get to race around uh, Top Gear's a, you know, iconic track and pretend you're the Stig or a Star in a reasonably priced car or doing whatever. Um, they just really went all out on this series, and clearly they invested a ton of money into it. And uh, woo! And it's just really fun. Oh, hydroplane in a little bit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow, that was... That was ridiculous. <laughs> I don't even think I'm going to pass this one. I just got distracted while I was talking, decided to do a... Uh, you know, decided to do a slide with the, the handbrake there, and then I went into, a, went into a slide and started hydroplaning, and... Ridiculous. Yeah, I failed that one. Uh, I might give it another go. Just, it's good. This is a good event just to talk over. Um, but yeah, you know, I've played it a bit. I'm really enjoying myself. Um, game looks fantastic. It runs fantastic. Um, yeah, I'm just really happy with just like the look and feel of everything. Um, big racing game fan. Although. I you know, I'm still breaking this one in, and I can't use the controller I'd like to. I'm using an old Mad Cats 360 controller, so, um, you know, it, um, it's going to be a little rough in terms of just gameplay performance, but, uh, you know, as I play the game more, I should have some more, you know, better skills to show off in the future. For now, it's just going to be me kind of being a scrub and crashing into things and just you know, doing a terrible job. That could be fun in its own way, too. But, yeah, racing's, like, one of my favorite genres. And, um... Oh, God, just miss all the pins, why don't I? Um, I've got the difficulty set on, um... It's, like, hard, but... Um, with some of the pro, with some of the pro features turned on, um, but I, I do like having the rate, the full race line because I can, I can actually see uh, what's going on, and I have my ABS on right now too, and uh, track, you know, traction control. Uh, I might turn those off later, but you know, for right now, it's. Um, let's see, no, I thought I could show you here. Uh, next thing we're going to like the last race I was in where I just kind of kind of fucked up real bad. 
it, so that's going to be fun to just watch me fail at that, I'm sure. And I really hope this is capturing <laughs> this properly, because if it's just capturing like the desktop behind it or something, I'm going to be very upset. Yeah, 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 Richard Hammond, I already know. Blah, 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 I like the default paint job. This track is so cool. Hopefully they add more tracks. I mean, this is technically the open beta, and I imagine there's going to be like a thing where you have to pay to download some tracks or something later on. I mean, there's a decent number right now, but I would just like more. And one thing that Drive Club has, that, and some other games have, um, that I really like is just the single just point-to-point -point races where it's not uh, it's not a circuit but you're just driving like along a long stretch of like the California highway or like somewhere in Scotland or Sweden or something and it's just really beautiful and scenic and cool so I hope they add some of that because I haven't seen any of that in this game but I mean the tracks themselves are, are great obviously all real-world locations created very faithfully running into shit And um, yeah, it's it lets you tailor the game's difficulty um, to what you want, which is nice. Just by like turning certain oh Jesus, certain assists on and um, turning things off. And um, yeah, it's just sorry I'm going fast right now, and it's hard to concentrate on uh, talking and on the game at the same time. But um, you know, I'll give it my best shot. Oh, Jesus. Oh, took that way too fast. Wow. Wow. I'm a scrub. Jeez, what was he even talking Oh, yeah. You're tailing the difficulty. Like, you can tailor the, the, you know, the AI, turn off, like, turning and um, braking assist off. I've got all handling and all braking assist assistance off, except for, like, ABS, obviously. But it doesn't do, like, the weird thing where it automatically slows you down when you're going into a turn because I honestly I really hated that um, you know if I want to pull a risky maneuver where I'm going off or I'm going way too fast into a turn you know I would like to be able to do that and just having the game like automatically break for me really throws me off and really freaks me out so uh, you know I turned that stuff off but um, if you're a beginner you know, player to especially if you're new to racing sims, I can see that being a really great feature. And um, yeah, I mean, the game just gives you room to grow and get better as a player. I'm talking like I'm hot shit, and here I am in 15th fucking place, and I've crashed to every goddamn other car on the track. But um, maybe I can sneak ahead. I mean, there's five laps after all. But, um, yeah, I mean, no, it's fun. It's, it's, a, it's a great game. Award-winning commentary here. Again, I just get, like, focused on these, on these turns, and it's hard to find words to say. It's not like I'm doing good, so I could probably take a break to fucking talk or ran, ram into somebody again. Um, something that Drive Club lacks, and that they've created in some pretty nice detail here is um, just like really like detailed like um, like collision like damage on the vehicles not just cosmetic but also like actual like it'll actually affect the performance of your vehicle so if you like damage a brake or if you damage like a uh, part of the suspension or the transmission it'll have real impacts on your vehicles unless you turn that off obviously but I have it on right now, and it, I've definitely been punished for being too risky and just being in a brutal wreck, and just either having to rewind or just having to restart the race altogether. Um, limp my way to a pit stop. It's pretty. It's pretty cool. I don't know if I really like the music that plays under it. I mean, it adds for to a sense of atmosphere, but I'm used to a lot of Sims not having any music in the background, so. I may turn that off in the future, but 
I don't know, it does provide a sense of energy, it provides a sense of atmosphere, so maybe I will, you know, like it. Yeah, I, I don't know how, I'm, you know, I don't know what I'm going to be recording for these exactly, you know, how many I'm going to record, if I'm just going to keep recording me, oh Jesus, trying things on the, you know, like the Grand, like the Grand Prix stuff, or if I'm going to, uh, record myself playing and maybe just like trying different challenges, testing out different cars. You know, I really don't know what I'm going to be doing with this as a series, but I've just been enjoying this so much. Um, you know, I figured how could I not record it at this point? And it seems like recording betas is like the new thing right now for my channel, at least temporarily. It's just, uh, this is like the third beta I've installed. And Oh, I'm gonna rewind. I'm gonna I'm gonna rewind that. That's that was a this is kind of a cool mode. It does feel a little lame, but I mean you can turn it off. So you know. A lot of the you know, a lot of the dirt games had that as a feature too, and it was kinda of fun to like get in a big wreck and then just rewind out of it. Um and it does feel a little less punishing than if you make a mistake and you have to restart the entire race over again. I mean, it does feel a little bit better than that. Yeah, completely not going to get it this time around, so... Uh, I think I'll record me giving another shot at this. I'm not very... I'm still not used to driving this type of vehicle. They're, um, they accelerate like a motherfucker. Just because they're so light and... Uh, got so much power behind them that it, it makes them makes it kind of hard to control well got a new badge at least that's pretty cool I guess all right let's restart yeah uh, needless to say I'm in love with this game um, it's a it's a great game it's a great franchise I'm just really happy that it finally came to a platform that I have access to. Um, later on, I'll probably get an Xbox One controller so I can take advantage of like the. They have this thing I was playing like a demo on the on on the Xbox One, where I noticed that you could feel like I don't know like the just like the pressure of like the braking and the, just like the kind of the road feel and stuff for the impulse triggers and I thought that was really cool and since I can't really really like use my steam controller with it or anything um because it's on Microsoft's weird ass store um I uh you know I definitely will probably get a, an Xbox One controller just so I can experience that glorious magic because that was really the coolest case I saw for impulse triggers was you know was I, don't, I can't remember if it was Forza 6 or if it was Forza 5. I mean, I don't know. I'm not too up to date on my Xbox games. I had some friends that had a 360, but I didn't really... I wasn't really into the Xbox culture as much as, like, PlayStation and PC, so... Doing a little bit better. Still being a little bit too aggressive. Still crashing into things too much. Um, getting a little sloppy with my, my braking. I like how there's like a, I don't like look at it because obviously I'm in the heat of the moment and my vision's really focused towards the center, but there's a braking meter that shows how much pressure you're putting on the trigger um, and how much pressure you're applying to the brake and to the throttle. And it's really cool. So, I mean, I really hope this is recording okay. I noticed the uh, like Dravatar name things are like flickering in a way they weren't when I wasn't recording, so, you know, hopefully, you know, I, this is coming out alright. I'll have to check. Um, the game runs really well. It's on high right now. Um, I can run it on Ultra, but it does seem to lag out a little bit, especially if I'm driving a really fast car. And, uh, it has this thing where it, it, it auto, it auto adjusts the settings dynamically. Um, and you can turn that off if you want, but I kind of like to have it on to enhance gameplay experience. What happens is if you're going fast enough, it uh, it kind of cheeses out the the rendering or something, and it, you get really you can get really framey. 
because it's just trying to adjust things. You're going faster than the game can adjust, essentially. So, at least that's what I'm assuming is happening. So I've got Ultra turned off for the time being, just to hopefully get a smoother recording, but... I mean, it's, it's a very well-optimized game. You know, I'm, I'm really pleased with the performance. God damn it, just being rear-ended. Get the fuck out of my way. Um, gotta be, stop being such a scrub. But, yeah. I mean, good times. It's just, uh, it's lots of fun, wide variety of vehicles. Uh, really, and maybe it's just because it's the open beta, but there's really a lot of cars that you can, you have access to, like, from the beginning, and a lot of the cars it says, like, oh, pay 99 cents to unlock now, you can unlock later just by playing the game, so, you know, it's almost like, uh, kind of like a mobile game structure where you, you can play the game enough to unlock stuff rather than having to pay for it, which is, which could be cool, it could really backfire if they don't implement it correctly, but... Right now, I'm pretty happy with the current implementation because, you know, you know, I, I love these kind of games. I'll just keep playing it until I lock everything rather than paying money, you know? And if there's some special cars, you know, if it's like Drive Club and there's some special cars where you have to buy, you know, you have to pay three or four dollars or whatever for them, you know, I will, I will, uh, I will do that, you know, if it's something that I really want. And I'd be willing to pay for, like, a track expansion or something, too. Especially since, you know, to add up to what the game, like, the full game cost on um, Xbox One, you know, it'd have to be $60. So, you know, $60 worth of downloadable content, if it's pri priced reasonably, is actually, you know, that's a lot of content you could get for the same investment. So, depending on how they budget it out, it might be a really cool strategy that, you know, I, I approve of. I'm getting there. I'm getting really reckless because it's the last lap, and I don't know. I just kind of want to, kind of want to beat this one, not fail on camera again. But it doesn't look like that's going to happen. And that's mainly because I'm just driving terribly right now. All right, so this is going to be a long episode. Around, looks like around a, a 20 minute. So um, I think I'll cut it off there, and I'll I'll try out try um, maybe try this again in the next episode and uh, yeah I'll see you then all right